Hey folks, so here it is. Right off the bat, I'll give you my opinion. Yes, they do. If you've been watching us for a while, you know that these are the basis for our earthquake watches. We want this to be as short and understandable as possible. All the links and sources you will need will be in the information box below the video. Now, the mechanism for planetary geometry affecting seismicity is not well understood. Clearly, this would take more than gravity, and there are theories on magnetism, radio flux, and mutual induction that all likely play a small role in the equation. But the statistics are there, and for historical proof of this correlation, links will be provided to Big Byte's web archive and YouTube channel. He deserves credit for exposing us to this area of study. While the mechanism for correlation with solar activity is not part of mainstream science, I believe the method of action is clear and can be easily understood by anyone. Now this article kind of fails in many respects and it's only valuable in my opinion for section 3, the theorized coupling mechanisms that would allow space weather to release built up pressure. One possibility is that space weather could cause changes in the Earth's angular velocity that could cause earthquakes. Now this paper fails to incorporate coronal holes or they would know for sure that this kind of makes sense as you will see later. John Bryant has many videos on this topic, links will be below. The second mechanism of action involves the induced electromagnetic energy, the induced currents caused by significant space weather. It surges through the rocks, metal, crystals, and the earth, heating them and having other magnetic effects. Now the path from there to an earthquake isn't hard to see. Now this paper is fantastic in total, demonstrating a very high confidence of a moderate correlation. They also suggest another, perhaps better, mechanism for the correlation. These currents would undoubtedly affect the atmosphere as well. This correlation is very solid. John Bryant discusses this as well. Pertaining to earthquakes, a dramatic shift in atmospheric pressure or wind would affect sea levels and pressure on the tectonic plates. This makes a lot of sense. The mechanism for solar activity affecting the atmosphere and weather is anything but new, actually. Makes me wonder why the mainstream isn't using this to predict the weather. Don't forget, Volcano activity goes along with earthquakes. Now this paper does an excellent job showing the correlation between coronal holes at solar minimum and volcanic eruptions. Their earthquake data is just so-so. So this document here will be available for download for free at foreshared.com. Link will be below. This is 2001 to the present. Every eight or bigger magnitude quake every group of large quakes in a short amount of time and other notable quakes. I've also listed the space weather for that day with a one day allowed variance along with lunar, solar, and planetary positions of significance. I won't go through all these but these are the significant earthquakes of the last 12 years and with the exception of only one or two all can be correlated with geoeffective space weather at the time of geometrical significance to the planetary positions. Now folks, you need to realize that solar activity and planetary positions are significant all the time. Solar maximum, solar minimum, doesn't matter. The moon conjoins each planet in about a month. If each of these events correlated with a significant earthquake, there probably wouldn't be much of society left. So don't panic or run for the hills because you see these circumstances ahead of you. But please be aware of your geographic location, the risks, be prepared for an emergency, and please have a plan. This is one of the studies I hope takes hold in the new world which we are currently transitioning into. My answer is yes. Be safe, everyone.